Sage for a second here. Today we're looking at the Star Troopers Expedition Force. And as you can see here, uh, we've got two different pack. The packaging art is the same on both boxes, but there are two different sets of figures. And one that has two helmets and one that has just one helmet. Uh, as you look at these, you can see that uh, they do have two accessories in there besides the two helmets. Um, and the art is the same, even for the little cardboard pieces that are inside the plastic. They just made the molded the plastic to have different spaces for the helmets and weapons and stuff. Box art is really cool. They got, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see this uh, trooper-looking helmet guy in the future. In the box art, it also shows all the accessories that come with these two different sets. If you want to pause it, you can pause it and look at the blurb here uh, so that you can read what's going on. But uh, as far as the Star Troopers go, they are fighting bugs. Um, I really like the fact that the helmets are removable for some of these figures. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And to kind of show you how um, the best way to open these up is, is because of the corner edge, the corner, what you have to do is you have to cut four pieces of tape at the bottom. So you cut a piece here, 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 and then another one here and then you can take it out of the package the box art um, inside the box is actually pretty cool you could actually display your figures with it uh, take some diorama pictures or something using it as a backdrop uh, if you place your figures in there or something of that nature uh, I'll probably do something like that for some Instagram photos before I get rid of my boxes I'm not a box collector okay and of course um, the figures here, uh, you can see out of the packaging, this is this figure is only five points of articulation. Uh, it does very much like an old Star Wars figure. You know, it doesn't have that good of articulation. The legs do go forward a little bit, but they won't go back. The arms will pivot all the way around. And, you know, uh, the, the sculpting is actually pretty good on these if you look at it. What's cool is, of course, they did sculpt the little collar on, um, at the neck there. So that you can see that um, when the helmet's on here, from the front at least, you really can't see much skin tone. And of course, um, you can see a little bit from the back. But that's no major big deal. I do love the sculpt of this helmet. I'm probably going to use this helmet for uh, some other things in the future. Okay, let's look at the accessories real quick. The two accessories that come with this two-figure pack are this, I don't know if this is a bomb or if this is some sort of uh, extra air tank, or what this is. But uh, it is kind of a cool-looking accessory. And then you have a really space-looking gun here, or super soaker-looking gun, um, with this with this figure set. Let's look at the other figure, the more articulated figure. The helmet has um, either lights or some sort of sensors or something on the side. Uh, the legs do actually, you know, you can do the Street Fighter kick here. Uh, they go back and forth all the way. Uh, they do have knee bends, but no uh, swivels or anything like that. Uh, there is arm swivel. Uh, swivels all the way around, but it's hampered a little bit by that armor piece. The hose, though, is awesome because it's so soft goods that you can still pivot the arm in all these different directions on both arms, even though they have these hoses here. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a cool look as far as that goes. But this is also hindered by the uh, armor piece there on the shoulder. <clears throat> now, looking at the uh, the figure here, the, the this is the alien humanoid. Uh, so you can look here and, you know, let me see if I can get a closer look here. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm gonna, let me put this light down. I was gonna try, I wanted to show you how white this stuff is, uh, but you can see here, it's very much a uh, DS9 style alien or something. Very much a very cool humanoid looking alien. Uh, good paint job on this figure. You can see the eyes, even though they're deep socketed, are well painted on mine. Um, and the hair kind of like adds a more alien look to it since people typically don't have blue hair. The helmet will click right in place on this figure. So it's actually uh, really good. And the feet um, have this extra ridge around the edge like some space boots would have. And that helps it stand up even though you don't have figure stands or anything for this figure. Anyway, uh, let's move on uh, to the side of the helmet here. You see there's actually this uh, Star Troopers logo on the side. Um, and, of course, 
uh, you know, we're going to open up the other box here. Now that I have them all out of the box, um, you can see that this other set, uh, different mold, but very much the same articulation for the figures. The armor piece is keeping it from being uh, lifted all the way up on the arm, but it will swivel all the way around. Legs will go forward and back. Knees will bend even with hosing. The hoses are on the knee legs this time. So if you bought a couple of these sets, you could actually part swap to have hoses on every arm and leg. Or no hoses, if you didn't like the hose look. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, you can see here it has a Star Force logo on the side of the helmet. Star Force logos on the shoulder pads on the other figure. Little logos all over on the front. No painting on the back. Even the blue around the collar did not get carried to the back. Which is kind of a shame. But it is a budget line of figures. Some sort of space shotgun or railgun or something is included. And some other gear. Some sort of future scientific looking space equipment. Who knows what it is. Anyway, uh, as we continue on, you know, looking at this figure, there's the other four points of articulation. You can tell these are distinct body molds. Even though they're both very much the same type of figure, they are distinct in all their parts. I would actually consider buying extras and like swapping this head out to another head with the helmet uh, so that I could have that helmeted look for both of these figures. Uh, that's just a personal preference. Uh, maybe use an extra head from another figure I have so that I don't have to keep the, if they take the helmets off they don't look like the same guy. Anyway, uh, I really like the look of this especially with that like military looking collar on that one. I just wish they had more articulation but of course you can't get everything you wish on a budget line like this for only six bucks at Ollie's. I really think I got off really good. Now I did pop the helmet onto a boulder here. And I tried to put the other types of helmets onto this other figure and it just would not work. But I did want to point out that this is an option to put this helmet on other figures. And boulder looks really good this way. Anyway, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing and pour on the plastic.